lovelies! Welcome to Sera G! I am G, and today we're going to be doing a fabulous Christmas table. It's going to be eleganza, extravaganza all the way. I'm going to show you several ways to do your table depending on what it is that you're going to serve. And you can choose to take whichever works best for you. All right, let's get started. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is lay my ornament for the middle of the table right here and I can play around that. Now, I'm only doing this because I am not going to be serving dinner family style. If you are, then I would suggest you get something a little bit smaller to decorate your table that you can put to the side, obviously depending on how many people you are. We could do something like this. You don't need to go crazy or go all out. Both of these items I got at the dollar store. Uh, this one was around $15 and the other one around same price. Uh, and they work, you know, remember you're only gonna use them once a year, so you don't need to go crazy. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm setting a table is flatware or plates. So the first thing is my entree plate or main course plate. Usually I like to do a thumb between the plate and the edge of the table. In this case, however, since this uh, central piece for the table is so large, I'm going to go to the edge of the table so that I can get a bit more space to set up my glassware. Okay, so we're going to go here and then we're going to go ahead and set your appetizer plates. On top of this, you're going to set up your napkin. In this case, I used linen napkins. You don't have to though. If you only have paper napkins, just fold them in half and put them on top of your plate and that will work. And to the left of each plate, you're going to add your bread plate if you wish to do so. It always goes to the left because on a full table setup, on the right you have your glassware and you have your teacup if you were doing a brunch or breakfast setup, okay? Now, after that, we're going to do silverware. So, the rule of thumb with silverware, you're always going to start with whatever it is that you're going to use first, further out. So you can start for setup, you can start setting up from inside out. When you use it, you start outside and you work your way in, okay? So the knife, the edge of the knife or the, the, the sharp part of the knife should always be facing the plate and it always goes to the right, okay? And then your fork for your entree is going to go to the left. Just when you're sitting at a table, if on doubt, just think to yourself, how you use your, your silverware when you're cutting something. And instinctively, instinctively, you're going to see that your knife is gonna to go to the right and your fork is gonna to go to the left. And then you're going to add your appetizer fork. You can do them at the same level. I always like to go a little bit further up since I think it's aesthetically a little bit more pleasing. And this is going to be the spoon that I will be using for dessert. I will be serving, in this case, ice cream with a little bit of strawberries. But if you're serving cake, you could do another small fork for dessert. It all depends. It all revolves around what you're serving, really. So we're just going to do the other side. And I'm going to add this fork right here. And I want this spoon to be opposite of the one on the other side. So everything should be a reflection on your table, all right? So if you see them like this, it kind of breaks the illusion. Everything should be the same, but inverted when you're setting up your table, all right? Now, we're gonna go with glassware. I like to start with whatever glass is going to go last first, same as we did with your silverware. So in my case, I'm going to be serving champagne with my last course. So that's why I'm putting this glass first, furthest away from the person. I'm going to serve a red for my entree. 
So we're gonna put the red here. I'm gonna do two different setups of glassware on each side. You can do either one, whichever works best for your table and for the space that you have. We're going to do, we're gonna create a little bit of a square. Now you move your glassware as you start adding to the table and you see how it fits the space. So white wine for the appetizer. Now remember, there are no rules as to what you have to serve with each course. It all depends on what you like and what you want. And then we're going to do water glass here and water glass over there. So typically a lot of people like to set up their glassware in a straight line or you can set it up kind of like all pushed together like this. I like to look for ways where the glassware or whatever it is that you're setting on your table is aesthetically pleasing. And then I go from there. Now, la pièce de résistance for today will be this fabulous candelabra for the middle. And we're gonna do a water bottle. So this is actually a recycled bottle of rosé. I thought it was a very pretty bottle once you removed the label because of the engraving it has on the actual bottle. And it works perfectly fine as a water bottle. But if you have a pitcher at home that you would rather use, go with that. And I'm going to add a couple more candles to the side. Now you light your candles, et voila, you're all set up! I hope you liked it and uh, I hope you have a fabulous Christmas with the people you love. I'm very grateful to have started this. I'm very grateful that you're taking the time to watch and follow. And I truly, from the bottom of my heart, hope that this was helpful in any way. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Please don't forget to follow and subscribe. And uh, that was Sela G, darlings.